Hi guys, how are you? I wish I could be doing this experiment with you in person, but this will have to do. So I wanna to talk to you about washing your hands. So the biggest deal right now going on is the pandemic, the coronavirus. So coronavirus actually has a really special thing we call a capsid and every virus has a capsid. It's something that protects it from being um, killed. So the capsid that is on the coronavirus is actually a lipid and lipid is just a fancy word for fat. So I wanted to give an example of using a fat on your hands and trying to wash it off because we don't actually have a microscope to see whether I've got the corona off my hands or not. So we're gonna have to use our own eyes and butter in place. So I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are staying home. All right. So I've got a couple things here. I've got some butter and a butter knife. I've got a digital thermometer so that you can see the temperature of the water, which isn't really a big deal. You do not need this. It's just to show you the difference in temperature. This water specifically doesn't get super, super cold, but you'll even see, even with lukewarm water, this experiment still has a little twist, okay? Um, the other things that I have are Dawn dish soap and hand sanitizer, as well as Walt. Walt doesn't really need to help us with anything, but he wanted to sit here and watch the experiment. So I told him, mind your P's and Q's and I'll let you stay. So what I want you to do, the first thing is I'm gonna start the cold water. And like I said, it's not super cold, but I'm gonna turn this so that now you can just see the sink. So um, I used a cup so that I could just put it in there instead of having to like fight where this is. So I'm just gonna let it run for just a little bit. So it's reading almost 82 degrees, which is not very cold. So if you are doing this at your house, just leave the cold on and see how cold it'll actually get. Um, this is below body temperature, so it'll feel um, lukewarm to you, okay? Um, first thing is I wanna dry off my hands so that I am working on dry surface, just like your hands normally would be. And then what I want you to do is take the butter and Rub it all over your hands like lotion. I know it's kind of weird to have butter hands, but just act like this is a corn of cob and you're trying to butter this thing up. So once you've got a good cover on your hands, I want you to try to wash it off with this cold water. And right away, even though this water is not very cold, I can still tell that with the colder water, it makes this oil become um, less pliable, so less malleable, which means you can't move it around as easily. So, and also, I don't know if you realize or if you can see these, but these water droplets that'll just come right off, that means that it is a hydrophobic, which means it is a water repelling substance. So the capsid on the coronavirus is hydrophobic. So it repels water. So if you try to wash it off, with just water, guess what? It's not good enough. So I'm gonna dry my hands, even though I've still got some butter on them. And I'm gonna start again. Just take a little tiny piece of butter, just enough that as the butter heats up, it will melt into your hands. Remember like lotion. You don't necessarily have to leave the water running, but it's if you're touching the handles with your butter hands, you're gonna have to clean it up, okay? So now that I've got that and I still have this cold water, I'm gonna use Dawn dish soap. And I just use about the size of a pea, a green pea. And now I'm gonna rub that all over. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, 
Happy birthday, dear Lacey Kaup, today on April 3rd. Happy birthday to you. Okay. I'm going to try to rinse this off. Okay. And when you do that, what you're going to notice is you can still rub your hands around and you'll notice that there's still a film on it. So it did get quite a bit of it off, but did it get it all the way off? No. Cold water and soap. Not a good way to, wa to wash off your hands. So let me wipe all this off so I don't get the little handle all buttery and then let me turn on the warm water Woo, that goes a lot faster all right and i'll get the cup again Ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a hundred, one, two, hundred, three, hundred, four, hundred, five, hundred and six. That's a little too hot. You don't want the water to scald you, okay? And you don't have to put your hands under and burn the whole thing. You can do a little finger test to see if you need to add some more cold water to it. You want warm water, not scalding hot water. Okay, let's try that. 92, 95, 97, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Okay, so I added a little bit of cold water so that it would stay around 104, but the other one was climbing too fast. So put this back in here. Okay. There's that, if you can read it. So I'll put this away and I will need to dry off my hands. Okay, now again, use the butter, rub it around your hands. And so you notice when you're taking a solid and you're warming it up, it's turning into a liquid. So it's changing phases from different states of matter. It's turning from a solid to a liquid, okay? And now I want to try the warm water. Let's do the warm hot water. All right. So when you're washing your hands, make sure that you're getting in the creases. Make sure you're trying to get in your nails. Okay. They still have a little bit of an oily coat to them, but it did get a it did get it off about the same that cold water and soap did. So the thing about coronavirus is being that it's hydrophobic, it needs something to eat at that barrier with the hot water making it pliable to then break the capsid. So that all you're doing is washing the virus and the virus cannot survive without that capsid, without that fatty layer. So let me dry my hands off again. Relather. I want to tell you guys about my nice little butter routine. Uh, it makes a nice good lotion, makes your hands nice and soft baby face smooth soft it's really great you could probably buy it at the grocery store in the dairy aisle if you want some i'm only teasing okay got this and we are lathered up with that lipid capsid 
And now we're going to try using the same thing, just about a little pea size um, drop of the soap. So see the soap creating all those suds? That's exactly what you need from your soap. So when you are washing your hands, make sure to get in between your fingers, remember? That did it. So when you pull your hands out from the water and the, the hot water and the soap, you're gonna notice your hands are, first of all, they're real smooth from my butter regimen, but you'll also notice that that oil is off of your hands. So the other thing that I wanted to try and use to take it off would be hand sanitizer. So hand sanitizer is, um, a good way to get the coronavirus off, but it's not the best way. So the best way is with soap and water. But with this hydrophobic lipid capsid that surrounds that coronavirus, it needs something, remember, to break down that capsid so then all that's left is the coronavirus. So let's do a couple pumps of this and the purpose of hand sanitizer would be to replace your hand washing. So you should have enough hand sanitizer on your hands, like it would be wet enough, you would be washing your hands and then you let it dry. That's how you use hand sanitizer. If you're just using a couple little drops and just getting your hands barely wet, that's not how we use it. So it definitely, I could tell, breaks down the oil so it's not as oily, I guess you could say, but um, let me try wiping my hands. So it got it off, got, it got the oil off about the same as cold water. So there's still quite a bit on there. I wonder if I try it again. If I take one layer off and then take a next, take another layer off. I think that actually might have done it. So not quite, but way, way better. So if you are going to be washing your hands, which you should be, it really matters how you wash your hands. If you're washing it with cold water, that's not good enough. If you're washing it with cold water and soap, still not good enough. If you're washing your hands with just warm water, it's good, but it's not good enough. The best way to wash your hands is with warm to hot water and soap. You can use soap of any kind. Um, hand sanitizer did work after a couple times and drying off my hands. But the best way, hands down, is warm water and soap. So my essential question is, what's the most reliable way to clean germs off your hands? So some options, water would be cold or warm water, soap, and the amount of time. It does matter how long you wash your hands. If you just put soap on there and then boom, wash it off, do you think that's going to get a virus surrounded by oil or would it be better to go for five seconds what about 10 seconds or 20 seconds sing happy birthday or sing your abcs and that should be enough time thanks for watching guys and i'm sorry you couldn't join us live anyway bye